Welcome to the Wanneroo Word House. This video is going to be all about the food. And we are sitting, or standing, sorry, right outside the local bar and grill. And we're going to show you everything about the food, including showing you what we get and giving our honest reviews and opinions about that. So again, stick with me and come wander with the Word House. Wandering, wandering, wandering Wardells Wandering, wandering, wandering Wardells So dream about your next vacation and I will be your guide And share with friends and hit the like then ring the bell, subscribe Okay, so we're at the um, garden buffet um, anyway, we're gonna do a more comprehensive food tour later, of course, but on embarkation day, one of the first things we do after we get our drinks, etc., is grab something to eat. So I'm just gonna let Michelle pan around. Um, this is our first kind of go around at the buffet. We already got pizza, uh, which is in a different area. And uh, this is course number one of many uh, before we head back outside for the afternoon. Hey. Good so far. We are at the uh, local bar and grill. Um, I think on some other ships they call this O'Shea's or something. Um, but I'm just going to give you a quick tour around just so you can see it. And we have ordered a lot of things. I'm going to show you what we get when we get. Our first course of many has arrived at the bar that we just talked about. Um, all the kids, including Michelle, got the spinach dip. Maya's clearly liking it, I think. Is it good? Landon, you like it? Okay. And then I got um, the beef chili. So it's got lots of cheese and sour cream on it and chips. So I'm going to try it. The next thing I got is I got the cob salad. And I'm not gonna try it in front of you, but I just wanna let you know that that's what it is. So far, everyone's eating very fast because this is really delicious. So we just, just got our next uh, courses. We have many, shockingly, as a family. Um, I'll start with Brody. Brody actually got a double burger with cheese and fries. Brody, how's your burger? Good or okay? It's good. Apparently it's good, I think. Anyway, and then we also got buffalo chicken wings. And they have the wings in many different ways. So we got buffalo. Lennon actually over here to the right got plain wings. And they are good or not good? Good. Okay, and then moving forward, we actually ordered so much food, we have another table. <laughs> I got a chicken salad sandwich. I haven't tried it yet. Well, I will try it actually. Let's try it. Yeah, that's good. And then we also have two orders of fish and chips. A couple of the kids got fish and chips as well. And I'll just add one more thing. Sorry, chewing. That this actually, this place is open 24 seven. So we'll probably be here a lot because so far this pub food, really, really good. We're at Crossings Restaurant, uh, Crossings Dining Room, I guess. They do breakfast here, uh, table side, as well as they also do uh, suppers as, as the main dining room. Um, we are here for breakfast this morning, and we are going to show you everything we got to eat. This is on deck number five at the very back of the ship. So let's go eat some breakfast and see what that's about. Okay, so our first few items have arrived um, at the crossings, and really nothing to write home about. Um, all the kids got a fruit salad, and then Michelle and I actually both got the uh, yogurt parfait. And I'm going to take a bite. That's just okay. Add better. Um, and then 
both Brody and Landon got cinnamon rolls as well. They actually look really good. And we have a lot more coming. Okay, next course has arrived. Courses, I should say. So we have Eggs Benedict. Um, I also got avocado egg rolls with some salsa. My over here got the full breakfast with scrambled eggs and bacon. Yeah. And then the boys got Belgian waffles, as well as Landon also got French toast. Oh, there it is. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I got eggs Benedict, and it's it's actually cinnamon raisin French toast, which looks amazing. A few more comments about our breakfast so far. Um, just want to be brutally honest. So far, actually, I would suggest that. Um, this is just okay. The Eggs Benedict is a little bit bland, and actually I think uh, the boys really love the waffles, but just to say, like, it's kind of bland, and um, it's just okay. We're uh, at the Garden Cafe Buffet, and this is the main buffet on the Norwegian ship. Um, you can see right directly outside the doors that that's where the pool is, so it's super close. Um, we are actually here for lunch today, um, and a late lunch, so I'm just going to uh, walk you through what they have to offer here. It is a small buffet, and I'm going to start in reverse order. We have some fruit. Where's the brownie? You, you don't have any more brownies? There are some dessert items, all good. Um, strawberry shortcake, oh, apple strudel, strudel, white chocolate mango mousse or something. Uh, more fruit over here with apples. And then, um, like I said, it is a small buffet. Uh, some bread stations, meat and cheese platter. Um, they change it up all the time. This today is roasted pork loin and with gravy. And then here are some mains, and I won't bore you with exactly what those are. Some main dishes. And just trying to avoid showing people. This is the front of the line. This is the last but not least. And all they have left after this actually is just a small salad bar. I will actually say the garden buffet closes fairly early. At, well, not fairly early, I guess, for a lunch buffet closes at 3 p.m. but at the very back of the ship there is ample seating out here outdoor seating and I will also let you know that it is shaded um, all above what I'm going to show you now is the secondary buffet that is also open now it is smaller than the regular buffet but not by a ton because honestly the regular buffet I'm not gonna lie to you I'm a little underwhelmed um, so here are the options on the outdoor buffet. This is where we're going to be eating because we're off the ship. Um, and it's really not any worse or better per se than the regular buffet. Um, they tell me that the only other option here to eat at lunch right now is the pizza place. Because even though the um, sports bar that we ate at last night um, is open 24-7, it is actually closed for food, apparently, until 6 p.m. So this is what's left for us to eat. Again, I'm, don't get me wrong, it looks like it's good food, but not plentiful. So I'm gonna grab my plate, and that is lunch in a wrap. So I just got some food at the outdoor buffet. And once again, I can't even believe, I feel like I'm saying this a lot, I hope I can be more positive about the food. It's not that it's incredibly terrible. It's just that not a lot of variety. And I'm actually feeling like more like on this ship for whatever reason that I'm at like an, an all-inclusive resort that's kind of middle of the line. Um, there's really not a lot of variety throughout the day to eat. So here I am eating kind of buffet burger, just okay. Salads, I've had them already yesterday. Again, it, the theme is, again, once again, on the food on this ship, just okay. 
we are back at uh, Crossings Restaurant uh, now for supper. Again, one of two main dining rooms for your supper. Uh, this is on level five, and we have been here once before for breakfast. Um, they certainly dim the lights a little bit at supper, as you can see. And I know we have a screenshot of the menu, so we'll just certainly be posting that above. Um, needless to say, we are very hungry this, this evening, as per usual. And we are going to be ordering a lot of food, and we're going to show you everything that we get in this restaurant. And I'm telling you, I'm getting a lot. So um, I'm going to try to see as well as how many appetizers and main courses I can actually order before they try to tell me that I have to do an upcharge. So stay tuned for more eating, but again, at the Crossings Main Dining Room, and this is all included. Um, just a couple quick other notes about the dining, for the main dining experience for supper. So Norwegian has um, freestyle dining, is what they like to call it. And the way Norwegian works is that you actually can't book a time slot, but it, in fact, it's all freestyle. So what you do in the uh, mornings or whenever you choose, you actually can book your dining time. Now, yesterday what we made an error in doing is we waited too late, because I didn't really understand that based on other cruise ships we've been on, it's a little different. So ultimately all that was left was like nine o'clock or later. So, little tip. If you are on the freestyle, you want to book your uh, freestyle dining early. And I'll leave it at that for now. Okay, our first few appetizers for supper have arrived. And we're going to just start with the kids. Brody got a Caesar salad. Brody, what's your honest opinion of the Caesar salad here? Was it okay or is it great? It's okay. Brody says it's okay. Maya also got a spinach dip. And my honest opinion. I hate it. She doesn't really like it that much, so there's there's the truth. I told you we tell you the truth. There's a bruschetta here, and I'll actually tell you about that because I had a bite of it as well. And again, I'm just gonna say that's okay too. It's actually not uh, really warm. And then we're gonna move right along. And then I got the clam chowder soup. And I'll try it. That soup's really good. And then Michelle got crunch onion. So we'll carry on and we'll show you what we get next. All right, so Landon, how would you rate the Caesar salad? It's, um, it's just okay. It's like kind of good. It's like a seven out of ten. And then, and then as Michelle keeps, if she can spin back over, like, thank you. That's great. So we just had a couple more items arrive. Um, so these are appetizer items again. We actually tried most things on your menu. Well, at over half, I will say. So we have like a cheese ravioli, and then I have some Thai spring rolls. So I'm gonna try that first. I'm gonna actually try it right now. Just okay again. I, I don't know, like maybe six out of ten. Like, but just okay, honestly. Not even joking. And let's try the spring roll. They're okay again. I don't know what to say. I feel terrible actually, because normally I would not. Um, I don't feel like I'm overcritical, I'm just being brutally honest, but everything is just kind of not excelling. There's nothing that's really excelling and standing out. The soup that I had, I will say, was amazingly fantastic. And Michelle actually described her French onion soup the same. But so far, I haven't gotten my Caesar salad yet, but everyone consistently is going, eh, it's okay. It certainly isn't matching up to the standards that we're used to. Um, not overly impressed. Okay, so let's see. Landon's got the bruschetta. Honest reaction. Good? Alright, we got the salmon tartare. And John's gonna give this a go. 
I'm giving it a go right now. So Lennon thought the um, bruschetta was really good. Two of the other people that tried it, including myself, thought it was just okay. I didn't like the fact that it was all cold. But let's try the salmon tartare. It's kind of, looks a little different. It's not really my thing. It's very, very smoked. So if you like a very smoked, smoked fish, which is not my thing, that's all, so I'm not judging it. But most of the tartars I'd have, or something that's described as a tartar, wouldn't have this level of smoky flavor. So this is more like a smoked fish than I'd say a tartar, if that makes any sense. It's okay, nothing great. So I actually really feel terrible about um, this food review that you're gonna see on our channel. I honestly promise that I'd be honest. Um, and I have no affiliations with anybody. But my Caesar salad came out, and I'm just gonna get Michelle to spit pan down to it. Um, I've eaten most of it because I wanted to give it a fair shot. The kids are rating it kind of, you know, kind of okay. I actually have to say it's like not even okay. It's actually like a soup, and it is terrible. Um, but I do want to kind of say a couple positive things before our main course has arrived. Um, because there are a few positive things about this place. Number one, the restaurants are pristine. The actual chairs and the uh, seating arrangement, they are super comfortable. I know I'm I'm fishing for compliments, but I'm not kidding, like some of the other places we've been, the actual seating is not near as comfortable as this. And the other thing they did really well here is the spacing of the courses has been fantastic i.e. the servers have actually been very attentive and, and really spaced out our meals very well. And generally speaking, I'll never make a complaint about the service unless it's warranted. And the service on this ship so far, everywhere we've been, has been very, very good. So it's not anything to do with that. Um, it's just the food, it's just not there so far. I really hope our main course is turning around, but we'll let you know. Okay, our main courses have arrived. Um, again, I'm just before I'm, I'm gonna ask people what they think of their main courses and what they are, uh, I just wanna say one other comment I have is that the main dining, and this is the bigger of the two, um, is very clinical feeling a little bit on this ship. Again, on certain other ships, um, which you'll see in our previous videos, it's more of an up environment. So it's just very, very kind of mundane here. Um, but with that being said, Michelle, what did you order? The three cheese baked ziti. We did add shrimp to it, Lynn and I both got the same thing. So it's a pasta dish, what is it, what, how would you describe it? It's like a rosé pasta sauce with cheese and shrimp. Okay. Like I hate to steal John's saying, but it is just okay. Like it's not amazing, it's kind of not that much sauce. The shrimp are just little pieces of shrimp. And it's like just fine, like it's edible, but not amazing. And Landon, what do you think? Do you agree with your mom? Uh, I think it's a little bit better than okay. Like it's pretty, it's okay. But okay plus? Yeah, I'd say okay. Here's okay. This is what's happening. Okay. Fair yeah, enough. This is Fair enough. And now the three of us actually, uh, Brody and Maya and myself, we all got uh, steak. Um, now it was a peppercorn New York strip that I got and the two of them just got theirs plain because they do not like the sauce um, and they all come with fries. So Brody, what do you think of the steak as you're pulling it out of your mouth? No, because it was a bone. Yeah, yeah, fine. But what did you think of it? Is it good? Okay. It's okay. And Maya? Pretty dinky. Okay, I'm going to uh, just pass it over to Michelle and I'm going to take a bite of my steak really quickly. I really want to like this, um, but no, you don't think so? Actually, I'll say it's very tender. It actually is cooked medium rare. This one's a little better than okay, but 
it's not the best steak in the world, but definitely better than okay. And I assume, is anybody getting dessert? Yes. Mm -hmm. We'll have a few desserts and then we'll close it off with a dessert. Hope that the final course is our best. All right, so Lennon, we got the after eight moose. What are your first thoughts? Amazing. Amazing try. And then we also got the apple strudel to share, so we're gonna give you that review. Let me see, we've got, oh my goodness, we I love after eight. Yeah, wow. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Okay, let's do the apple strudel together, come on. Oh, it's warm. Yeah. Okay, dessert, 10 out of 10. Dessert. How's your ice cream? Really good. How's your ice cream, Brody? Good. Good? Is All right. Is it really good or just okay? That's just served. I have, we right? have the Yeah. Yeah, honestly, no, this dessert's really, really good. And what was that one? That was the after eight? After eight and the um, apple strudel. I'm following this down. All right. We're 10 ending. out of 10. <laughs> we're ending, thank God, on a positive note. The other thing I'll mention is the wine is really good. Um, but to hear 10 out of 10 on desserts, we'll move on to our next meals coming up soon. So we're at the breakfast and we were trying to get cinnamon toast crunch, but we only have corn flakes or rice krispies available. How is it? Well, Everything you dreamed of? You know things are not my favorite when I'm starting to eat cereal. <laughs> I haven't had cereal or ordered cereal <laughs> in any hotel in probably 10 freaking years. So that's that's just the lay of the land. All right, so I got a bagel with smoked salmon and capers and cream cheese looks good. And then Maya just got a sliced banana, banana which, looks, which looks good too, so yay. <laughs> okay, so our uh, second courses have arrived for breakfast. We ordered a few different things this time. Um, nothing too creative. Um, I haven't tried the eggs, but if you actually look, there's like a layer, of, almost like a water grease on top of them. I don't know. I'm very um, under impressed so far. And it took about an hour to come. And yeah, and then we sat here for like an hour. So I don't know what's going on no, here. We but... sat here for like 45 minutes. Thank you, right here. I did get an omelet Thank you. with some potatoes. They don't have hash browns, so you can only get the potatoes. And then, um, um, and then I got a pretzel. It, this, this actually looks good, I don't know. It's a pretzel bun with egg and ham. And of course I put ketchup on everything. And cheese, I'm gonna actually try that. Because this is the only anomaly, I think, for this breakfast. Let's see. Pretzel bun's good. I'll give them out. The rest, not bad. We are now at Cagney's Steakhouse. And again, it is on deck level 12 at the very back of the ship. Um, Cagney's is uh, their steakhouse. And because of the, I just want to explain two types of dining packages that you can get to kind of navigate you through the menu or how it works. So we actually got um, one free meal as part of the cruise package when we booked and as such what you can order off the menu which you'll certainly see above me is you can order two starters one main there are certain mains though however that actually have upcharges attached to them like if you've got the steak and lobster as an example you'll pay an upcharge and then so you get two starters one main and then two sides and then you can also get a dessert now, if you did not have that as part of your package, you would pay for this menu a la carte. So again, as you see in the prices, um, you would pay for everything individually per person. So we just put in our order and just a quick view of what this restaurant looks like. Um, it's actually very nice. I'm actually very happy with the appearance of this restaurant for sure. Panoramic view of the back of the ship all the happy people um, other than Maya who had too much sun today and Brody's plowing down the bread so far how is the bread Brody <laughs> oh, the, 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 the
bread is good, Bertie says. So our drinks are coming and our appetizers <coughs> will be coming shortly. So our appetizers have started to arrive and one of the appetizers we got was jumbo shrimp. Landon's gonna give us a taste right now. Caesar salad. I'm gonna actually. Um, and they have anchovies on it, so anchovies. You can get them with or without, but I'm gonna just. Uh, Michelle's gonna actually take a bite. Let's see how the Caesar salad is at the specialty restaurant. Like really good or just good? That's good. We're gonna eat it good. So yeah. not really good. It's good. Just good. Okay. Good. And then I got um, the tuna tartare. Don't know what I um, it looks a little different than what I'm used to, but I'm gonna give it a go. There's some like fried chips or something on top. But let's try it. Okay, that's I will. That's actually really good. The tuna tartare is very good. Okay, uh, our next appetizers have arrived, and so far I'm actually very impressed. Generally speaking, with this restaurant, um, I got the lobster bisque. So I'm actually gonna try that. I haven't even checked to see if it's super hot. It is absolutely dynamite. So the lobster bisque is right on par. And then Michelle got the French onion. Which looks amazing. So I can give this a go here. Wow, ooh. That looks really good. Let's check with this broth. Very, very good. Yeah. We're loving it. Starting to redeem ourselves here. Really good meal so far. Okay, our mains have arrived. Um, so, start at the beginning. I got prime rib, and I'm actually going to have a quick bite. It does actually really look good. And let's see. Really good. And then, sorry. You get two sides, as I said. So I got a loaded baked potato. I got risotto. And then we got mac and cheese for the table for the kids. So we all get their own mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. And then all the kids got a filet. Landon, what do you think of the filet? It is like amazing. Yeah? Love it. yeah? Like 10 out of 10? 11 out of 10. All right. And they got some onion rings and fries to share as well. And I got a filet as well. I stole Lance's baked or the kids' baked or tomato, which looks great. Um, potato, loaded potato, and I got some mushrooms. So food here we is, go. Food is yeah. Food is redeeming itself at this restaurant yes. alone for sure. This great. Restaurant's amazing. All right. Okay, so the dirt, the dirt. The desserts have arrived. Um, I'm gonna actually try the chocolate cake. This is actually the first dessert I've had on this cruise. It's really satisfying to try. And I'm actually dying to try it. Mm. Oh wow, that's really, really good. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. And the boys also got it. Brody, you think it's good? Yeah. It's so satisfying. <laughs> it's, it's really good. And then Maya and, and Michelle got the cheese cake. So Maya's what are your thoughts? Oh, very good. And, like really good? Or 10 out of 10? Like 8.5. I'm going to get Michelle to try it too. No, 10. How did it go from an 8.5 to a 10? I didn't get a good bite. No. What do you say? It's just, it's okay. It's actually, it's, it's, it's good. Let me try one more. Hold on. I feel like I'm like. The second bite. Yeah. Good, but just okay? Or would it, yeah. please be specific. <laughs> just like okay for you? I feel like it's good, but like, it's good. It's not like, wow. Okay. It's not well, memorable, but the, good. The cake is wow. Right on, Landon. With that being said, this closes out our food review. 
on the Norwegian sky. You'll see from the reviews, they were intermittent, some good, some bad, and a lot bad. And, but there are some good things. So we are just trying to be honest and we have no affiliation with anybody to do this. So thanks for watching and keep on wandering.